Hello. In order to log in to the FortiGate for the first time, you have to log in to 192.168.1.99. In the initial setup, we will be asked to change the default credentials, and they are admin and no password. Once we uh, go through that window, we have to type in a new password in order to access our FortiGate. And we have to save it. And it looks like I made a mistake, so I have to uh, retype in the password. Just make sure that both fields match. Once we log into the uh, 40 gate for the first time, we're going to change our default LAN subnet network from 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1. 10.1 in my case. I don't like to use the default one. So we're going to go to network interfaces. As you can see, we see all the interfaces here. Uh, we're going to edit the LAN interface, which comes with 192.168.1.99, the default login to the 40 gate. We're going to edit that. Uh, in that case, we're going to change the uh, router login port I mean IP address to 10 dot by default is 99 and i um, thinking to change this oh, we're gonna change it in a second um, and we're gonna be changing the range as well of the DHCP tables that for that specific network range so we're just gonna go and change the IP of this gateway. Let's change it to 10.5. Oh, let's change it to 10.1. That will be our gateway to log into the router uh, for the gate. And now we're ch changing the starting IP and NIP range to 10.10 .10, and in my case to 10.210. That will be my subnet. We can leave everything else by itself. We can also assign the subnet to specific network ports and I like to use all three ports for that specific subnet in my case. So I'm going to have line 1 or line 2 line 3. And we're gonna name this subnet. We're gonna save that. Now we have to refresh under the new IP but my network is uh, manually assigned to 192.168.1 so I'm gonna get an error here so I have to go to my network settings and enable DHCP for my network connection to the uh, gateway so I'm using a Mac so I'm gonna go to system preferences network and I'm gonna change it to DHCP now it'll be assigned uh, I'll get the new IP from the gateway which is 10.10 .10 which works perfect. Now all I have to do is refresh the page. As you can see, I can log in. By default, 40 gate comes with WAN port, internet port, enabled as DHCP. So it tries to assign automatically information from the internet. In my second video, I will show you how to edit that uh, and change it to static so I'm using in my location static IP so I will change it but as you can see it says it's up and running and I'll open a new tab just to show you that actually the website is working thank you for watching this video